This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice and nuances in this tutorial. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension free. And a missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. All right, so this etude uh, turned out to be my last etude in the whole series of etudes, and turned out to be the most complicated with um, relationship of uh, wrist and elbow movement here. Uh, because, well, you have to move the elbow all the time here, like almost on every quiver. And also, the wrist and elbow sometimes really don't match and it really feels weird at the beginning, but I just played a couple of times and after, after the second time I already felt much easier. So, I'm just trying to say that the movements can the movements might seem to be a bit strange, but if you just probably <laughs> push a little bit further, you will see when I play in a fast tempo, it works so smoothly and amazing. Okay, relax hand, touch gently, move wrist according to the note pattern, move elbows and circle note. I'm gonna play very, very slow so you can see every movement clear. <clears throat> I probably should add that I'm moving here by the top voice. So. This is my pattern. That's why I'm basically always gonna move left, right, left, right. My wrist. Well, this is a mini sharp intro close.
Sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud only notes. While playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. Internally sing with the energy of weight. This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight. Such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. Now intonation, weight, articulations. Again, there are a couple of accents in the right hand. Over here, I have over here. Um, I think again, I will ignore them because um, I definitely see they are connected to the phrasing. So he probably wanted to emphasize some main parts in the phrasing. Uh, okay, if we're talking about hairpins, also there is this. First of all, I'm not doing any dynamics, but even if I would do this dynamically, I wouldn't do them, I wouldn't make them, because um, they are for harmony. You listen this one. And this one. This one sounds more dramatic and intense. So uh, every time he writes this hairpin, it's really for harmony notes, for harmony sense that you should feel while playing. So, <laughs> uh, to summarize, I'm playing everything you got. <laughs> So 
facing, it sounds literally this way. And if I sway, it feels literally the same way. Articulations are the variant of intonation, where the principle of singing and tourneling between notes with a glissando resistance remains the same. In every type of articulations, the first part of the interval is sung with resistance, but the second part is varied. In staccato, extremely accelerate the speed. And tenuta, move fully down with weight. In accents, mix staccato and tenuta, bring speed and weight at the same time. Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. Phrasing. One motif, one bar, across the bar line, our main interval, let's go. Again, I didn't play this detail, but probably some people might struggle with some tension which would be accumulated in the hands while playing. Uh, phrasing, again, is not just for musical part, but for releasing any tension while hands. Because in the beginning of every section we were cuffed in the energy, and so it's easy to drop the energy in our hands.
at the end, my new courses. Time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music, it's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece, and if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful, not just faster, but lively and exciting, not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. All right, time. We're going by every quaver. beautiful and calm. helpful and I am moving on to my next project. Bye bye!